Hey guys, it's your girl Essence of Shea. Welcome back to my channel. Let's just get started. So, um, as the title said, I said yes and I met some big YouTubers in the game uh, last night and I wanted to do this video because it was still fresh in my head. Last night I went to the Style Hall. I was invited to the Style Hall for BeautyCon um, pre-party bomb when i first got in there i felt a little overdressed but i was like shay like have co some confidence in yourself my girl like do your thing backtrack before i even went to this event i was praying a lot asking god like please give me these opportunities um let me meet some big people to change to help me change my life and give me like open these doors for me and then here came style hall um shout out to style hall thank you so so much for inviting me to this pre-party to most this would be a little thing and to me this was big after reading the book um or listening to the to the book by Shonda Rhimes. She's the creator of like shows like Scandal and Grey's Anatomy and all that great stuff. She had a book called Year of the Yes. Smacked me in my face, woke me up. Let me realize that things that are stopping me and the blessings that are stopping from coming my way is basically because of me. Um, I have stopped a lot of things from happening for me because either when I was scared, I was scared that I wouldn't be pleasing other people. Um, and just those main things is I didn't think I was good enough. So I decided that I'm going to start saying yes to a lot of things. And <laughs> trust me, yesterday was my first yes. And even though it was pouring rain in NYC, it was cold. I had every excuse to not go, but I sucked it up and I went. I dressed to impress and I went there and I was feeling like really nervous in the Uber. Like my belly was flipping because I'm like, I'm going to meet these big YouTubers. I don't know how they're going to be. They're going to be people looking at me. Am I too overdressed? Is my hair just right because I have locks and this big thing going on now all over the place about locks which is ridiculous that's another video but I was just really insecure in myself when I walked in I was like oh look at all these people jeans shirts Ugg boots and I'm in a full-on velvet dress with some six inch heels with <laughs> I'm like, Shay, where you going? To your prom? So I just, I was chilling for a while. Then like an hour or so later, I follow these people on Snapchat and I saw Missy Lynn snapping, Aviela Moore, Latoya Forever, Aaliyah J, uh, Lipstick and Curl, Maya, Shameless Maya, Shannon, Shannon Body, just a bunch of these girls and I'll put their links down below so inspiring I first saw Missy Lynn and I was scared to come up to her because you think you know these people who have these big numbers a small youtuber like me they're gonna be like oh she's just another fan let me just take a picture Missy Lynn was so down to earth let me tell you something if you guys don't support this girl go support her now the fact that she knows that if it wasn't for people like me she probably wouldn't be that successful on YouTube and she didn't and she let that go to her head meaning that she didn't treat me like I was beneath her or I was in I saw her talking to everybody in the party people who didn't come with her and people who did come with her and she talked to everybody the same way hats off to Missy Lynn Next person I met was Shannon Boudram. You guys might know Shannon because she talks about a lot of sex. She's known as the sex queen on YouTube and BT and MT. She's just all over the place. She, I believe she's a Jamaican. Her family is. So my fellow, my fellow Jamaican. And when she started talking to me, the first thing she's like, girl, I'm so hungry. Them, them ribs and them, that, that, that look good girl. And I was like, yes. 
give it all to me. Like she's mad nice and the stereotypes that a lot of people out there say is like these big YouTubers when they they see smaller YouTubers, they treat us like muck. And that was not the case for Missy Lynn and Latoya. Like I met uh, some other ones and they were kind of like stiff with me. I'm not going to mention their names, but the the purpose of this video is just because you have to stay out of your way. And if you guys are willing to join me, please join me of the year of the yes. I have officially started yesterday. Yesterday was um, October, no, September the 30th. Today is October the 1st. And I will be doing this for a whole year until next year, October, September 30th, 2017. I hope you guys join this with me because it woke my eyes up to see that I'm just as good, if not better, than the people that I look up to. And it also showed me that sisterhood is still a work in progress because of some of the ones, the YouTubers that I met yesterday and how like standoffish they were. But it also let me know that sisterhood is a thing and it does exist with meeting the likes minds of Missy Lynn and Shannon Boudrum. And also Aviella Moore. I didn't get to take a picture with her, but I was snapping her back and forth and she actually was responding, guys. So that made me feel like, Shay, you are somebody. You can hang with the big dogs. You were invited to something so nice as this. Even if they sent it to a whole bunch of people, they chose you to send it to. So it made me feel some sort of way and made me also know that I can do this. And I will do this. Um, I love you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions for me, leave comments below um, or whatever. Just let me know and I always respond because you guys are like my family. I always tell you this. Anyways, I love you guys for watching. Peace and blessings, Tiger Lilies. Bye!